Hello, my friends. Today we have third story about making collection Fiji. It's my new collection. Uh, I am using only these Italian viscos. This is my favorite thread. And uh, all the time I am creating something special. I like to join different colors, very bright colors. Sometimes I use only one color, but it's not this <laughs> variant. Uh, today we have blouse lava, but this blouse also will be with skirt, very interesting, designed by me, and lace will be also designed by me. I already made sketch about this skirt, but today we will talk in this story about blouse lava. It will be very bright, uh, intensive, uh, interesting, yes, and uh, let's see. Uh, we have just approximate sketch. Just for me, I need to, yes, I, I need to think about uh, shape what I want to get. This will be oversized blouse. It will, will be very loose. And I, I'm using such elements, only two variants of elements for this blouse. It will be really special. The main in this blouse is design of this beautiful wedge. This is the most uh, interesting part because uh, I think about this, yes, uh, looking uh, of these motifs first of all and after I created second element and uh, we have a lot of colors We will talk about these colors right now and uh, blouse will be uh, First like I told you very interesting design of wedges, but the second will be very interesting design of sleeves this will be uh, the most yes uh, interesting part and I really love this design uh, already I uh, know how I will place elements so let's talk about uh, this interesting project I will show you some parts yes and you will see closer a little bit my work so first of all about all these colors uh, it's a uh, sapphire looks Italian viscose and also this one is light purple it's also Italian viscous, just I took it from big bobbins and I made three small just to make yes some part, uh, parts of these elements. And we have here very beautiful gold. It's light gold and dark gold threads, sapphire looks. And we have colors 28, 39 and also 28, 38, yes. These two colors, I love them. Uh, this is really special, it's olive thread and the number of color is 613. Very nice. Uh, this one is like a golden brown or something like this, 2843 color. This is the main color I use it, <laughs> yes, for my elements, for these uh, two variants of elements. I really enjoy to work with this thread. It's very bright, intensive and looks gorgeous. 112 we have number. Next is very nice deep color of purple and brown. Join it. And color number is 2896. And the last one is only a little bit, some accents. I use this thread only for this beginning of uh, such yes, nice element, interesting element. We have in the middle of the flower. Just, you know, it uh, looks really great when you have such um, intensive color, very dark color, some uh, in some small parts in your lace. That's why we have this color and no number is 930. Setty and uh, these colors I use it and also this one we have the same sapphire looks just I don't have to show you the cone but we have such colors the same and uh, I can use also sapphire looks this one is very light purple and you can see this color a lot of this of this color in the end of this wedge we have such beautiful petals also in the end of this elements yes Leola uh, and now you know about threads also I am using crochet hook standard crochet hook for my project it's a small steel hook 1.75 millimeters and needle with big eye to hide a lot of tails because even this one element it has so many colors and so we have a lot of tails to hide uh, and now let's talk about design of motifs a little bit yes we have the main element that's uh, this element was the main inspiration for me and I love to create them it's a very beautiful, interesting motif. Uh, we start from deep, uh, yes, purple and brown, after we have golden brown, and this intensive uh, purple and the light purple. Such colors we have. Uh, this grid is very interesting because I uh, joined new thread, yes, during the work. So we have uh, two different colors joined together in the beginning, after goes only purple and between purple, light purple. 
and it's really beautiful. I enjoy to make such beautiful and interesting elements. Uh, also for this element I created schemes, it was really hard work and uh, this all I created a lesson for my Patreon subscribers, for my friends and we already had uh, two lessons about making Vachel Leilani and also about making motifs Leola Leola was also created by me and I first of all I think about, yes I draw some sketch, I think about the shape and next I choose colors and I uh, yes make sketch with colors, I think about uh, what colors I want to use uh, how to place all these colors because we have a lot of in this motif and I received such result I really love it and I will use these elements a lot of motifs for my blouse this will be really uh, oversized blouse that's why we need uh, a lot of motifs but it will be with big holes yes each element has really big holes so it will be very tender uh, translucent and uh, we have such elements you can see I made this elements hide all tails iron and stretch them now such elements they are perfect and they are ready for composition uh, when you are working on yes such crochet project you need to prepare your elements like this first you need to make them hide all tails after stretch and iron them by using steam iron only uh, in such way you can open them and see the yes the real size and this is really very important now this all elements are ready for composition and um, Next step, uh, we need to talk, uh, just talk about the design, uh, and uh, I will show you just uh, some part uh, what I want to create uh, from such elements. And uh, you know, uh, we will talk about some nuance. It will be interesting when I will start to create to place elements, and you will see this. And also, I will tell you about nuances. So, let's start. So now you can see the design of yes uh, sleeves for blouse Lala. For this I will use two big wedge Leilani and also three motifs in very interesting design, yes in beautiful colors. Uh, we will place everything symmetrically uh, relatively to this axis, yes central axis and design of the sleeves will be very interesting. I never made such sleeves before and now I am very excited to try such design and uh, just I want to show you approximate how it will be but uh, in this moment you can you don't understand uh, in the in the end of the work what it will be but just uh, in such way I will join elements this will be solid lace after I will join everything and uh, uh, I really uh, love such design I enjoy to work with such beautiful and really interesting elements and as such sleeves, I need to make two, yes, and it will be interesting because also a process of making joinings will be very exciting. Uh, we need to think about colors. When we have so many colors in one project, uh, we need to be very accurate to create a really fantastic lace. And it should uh, be very beautiful. And that's why each step uh, should be made very accurate and uh, we need to think about uh, really hard uh, to create uh, really something special that we will love in the end. Uh, so I will work step by step, I will think about it, I will make some uh, one more sketch about uh, how I will join everything and this you will see at the next stories when I will finish these sleeves and I will show you how, how I will join everything to one continuous slice. Uh, this was about lace. After I will show you some small part about yes main part of blouse, but also I wanted to to say that when I will have some open space is like we have here for example or in this area, I think I will make some small parts. I will take from this element. Maybe I can create flower just with this purple row. Such small element, uh, the such small elements will help me to place some open spaces and. In, some, in this way I will use the same yes motifs but not full motif and I will repeat the same uh, beautiful uh, parts in my lace and this will be really great. It's a really nice idea to use some small parts of already chosen uh, elements. Uh, so in such a way also I will work at the main part of my blouse. I will create some small parts, I will take them from here and I will create very small elements in the same colors and I will use them 
uh, just to close open spaces. Also, in my skirt, I want to say a few words uh, for this blouse, Lala will be also beautiful skirt. Uh, the main part I will take from such wedge and I will create, uh, this will be the base, basic uh, pattern, but I will uh, change it a little bit, I will make them longer and I will uh, change a little bit, yes, placement of colors and uh, this will be a very interesting work for me. I will create another motifs, but base will be, I will take from here. And uh, also I will repeat, I will choose, uh, uh, just use the same colors because this will be like, yes, uh, suit, uh, blouse and skirt should be uh, in the same colors. Just I will uh, think about uh, a little bit, I will change a little bit design of motifs for skirt. So let's talk about the main part of our blouse in oversize. I will show you uh, some, some ideas for design of lace. So now about design for main part of blouse. Just you will see approximate this design and uh, we will have a very easy pattern. This will be oversized with straight lines and with a really uh, big sleeves that we will join. Yes, uh, here this length will be around 24-26 centimeters. Here, here we will join this very interesting sleeves. And also you can see only some part of front side and for this I will use a pattern, I will place elements and after I will join everything to continue slice. Uh, but in this moment you can see we have for front side for example five big wedges. Yes, these two wedges at the side they will go also to the back side because we will bend them. And I used here four elements Leola. Uh, yes, symmetrically and also in some open spaces, uh, for example here and also here and at the top, I will use small parts of motif Leola, I will create them and place uh, just to close open spaces, I will use small elements like this. After I will, yes, continue composition for backside and I will join everything uh, and create the main part. Next, just I will need to join sleeves to the main part and my blouse will be ready and it will be very interesting. So, you can see, I hope you enjoy to watch some part of my work, how I'm making new, yes, projects for my collection Fiji. If you want, you can support my work if you like it on Patreon page. I will be very grateful for your support. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon at the new video story about my collection Fiji. It was uh, nice to share with you some uh, results and I will prepare for you new interesting video story. Bye bye for now.